And by New Zealand Made Executive Director Dane Ambler is here now. Great to see you again, Dane. What does the data show us in terms of how tough retailers are finding it right now? Yeah, we're seeing a wave of business closures throughout the country right now and it's across various sectors of the economy. The data shows that business liquidations in April were up about 20% on last year, so there were close to 200 liquidations. And that really reflects, you know, the economic storms that businesses are facing right now with a recession, uh, ongoing inflation rises and a cost of living crisis. Um, I suppose you can probably add into that mix as well the fact that small business lending rates have just reached their highest level in 33 years. So you can imagine a, sm a small business might be paying off their home loan at about an 8% interest rate, uh, but they might be paying back a small business loan at about 13% or more in some cases, and that's if they can even borrow money in the first place. So yeah, really challenging times right now. And how hard are the conditions for retailers with online giants like Timu entering the local market as well? Yeah, imports and big box retailers pose a lot of challenges for small businesses, especially, you know, artisans and local operators. We really encourage consumers to think about, you know, the quality and longevity of the products they buy. Think about the social and environmental impact of the products you buy as well. So what are the flow on effects of these shop closures, Dane? Well, small businesses sort of represent the backbone of New Zealand's economy. You know, they make up 97% of all firms in the country and employ well over 600,000 Kiwis. So, you know, the ripple effect of one of the, those closing is obviously job losses uh, and quite a severe economic impact. You know, small businesses are really a big part of New Zealand's culture and when they're thriving, we're thriving. How significant are small purchases and buying local in helping those businesses stay afloat? Yeah, a small purchase now can make a substantial difference for a business, especially in these economic times. You know, we're not asking people to break the bank and we are aware that a lot of Kiwis are living through a cost of living crisis. Um, so, you know, we, would, we wouldn't want to come out and encourage Kiwis to spend money they don't have on items they don't need. But shopping local can be as simple as swapping out a few items at the supermarket, reading the packaging and sourcing materials that are materials or products that, that are manufactured in New Zealand. Okay, what would be your message to Kiwis tonight, Dane? I think during COVID, uh, we, we used to say use it or lose it in terms of our local uh, cafes and hospitality vet venues. Uh, I would say don't wait for your local to shut up shop. Get out there and show them how much they mean to you and your community. Um, and yeah, try where you can if it's feasible for you to shop New Zealand made. Good talking to you, Dane. Appreciate your time tonight. Thanks, guys.